Hello everyone, welcome to the course Basic C Sharp and ASP.NET using Visual Studio 2015 introduced by Technologix Take IT Easy. In today's video, we are going to demonstrate the use of tree view control. What is tree view control? The tree view web control is useful to display data in a tree structure. A tree view is a collection of tree node objects. The tree view control can be specified directly in the control or can be created using the data source from the following options. Number one, XML file. Number two, sitemap file. And number three, database file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tree view control directly in the control and also how you can create tree view control using the data source XML file. Before actually practically creating this tree view control, let's understand the properties of tree view control. Data source ID. Here you can specify the data source to be used. Text property, which will indicate the text to be displayed on the node. Tooltip, which indicates the tooltip of the node when you mouse over it. Navigate URL, which indicates the target location. Target, which it indicates where to open the target location. That is on the new window or on the same window. Image URL indicates the image that appears next to the node image tooltip it indicates the tooltip text to display for image next to the node there are various styles of preview control the first style is node spacing where you can space you can put the pixel value uh, which indicates the space between current node and the node above or below it vertical padding space between the top and bottom of the node horizontal padding space between the left and right of the node and child node padding it indicates the space between the parent node and its child node now let me show you this practically here we are having a plain web form so i will just drag a tree view control from the toolbox you can see over here one to tree view control is there. I can click on auto format and I can change the setting of this tree view control as per my requirement. I'm selecting this arrow to control. I'm clicking on this edit nodes. Now here actually I'm going to create tree view control. The first root node is like I'm giving technologics. This is nothing but my root node. Inside this root node, I'm going to create sub nodes. FY or maybe BSCIT. Okay. Next, I'm going to create sub node of BMS. Okay. Next, I'm going to create sub node under my root node as BAF. Sorry. This is my root node. Okay. Inside this root, no root node, I'm going to select a BAF. Okay. Now also, I'll be selecting BSC CS, that is COM science. So all these courses are available here. Uh, inside BSCIT, if I want to create another, you know, sub nodes, so I'll click this particular node and I will click on add a child node so that BSCIT will become as a parent node. Inside BSCIT, maybe if by BSCIT I'm clicking again, I want another node such as SYBSCIT okay. and another node such as, of course, PYBSCIT. Okay, so likewise, I have created all these nodes, guys, and now I'm clicking on OK. So you all can see my structure is ready. If I'm running is running this particular structure, you all can see this tree view control is available. Okay, now if I want to set certain 
properties so let's begin with the properties from top here i would like to show you the properties such as expand depth okay this expand depth property is there currently it is fully expand but you can set the property uh, expansion value if i'll say zero then only root node will be displayed if expansion is still first so only root node along with first level of parent nodes are there if i'm saying two then again uh, the depth will keep on increasing using this particular expanded property okay so that is up to us or directly you can click on full expand so automatically it will expand with all the nodes all together next property which we are going to see is uh maybe I, I would like to show you the id property the default name for this preview control is preview one okay next property okay hover style hover style property let's see hover style is what just when we will mouse over on that particular node the back color should change so let's select the light pink color for this hover style okay let's Try this here. You can see the hover style is been applied. Okay, then suppose I want to give certain you know a color for my parent node. So here hover hover style is there. Parent node style is there. So I'm just expanding these properties. Back color of parent node or maybe a four color of parent node is change. I would like to make it of red color. Okay, so you can see the SCIT. This is the parent node and its color has been changed child node likewise let's change the color first we need to select this uh, control please don't forget that or else your respective respective property will not be displayed okay so here i am going to uh, select the Okay, leaf node size, styles, and here I'm going to select the child nodes, adding font four color. Okay, I'll be selecting it. I want, I want something like you know, purple color, no blue color. Okay, I'm clicking on okay. So I can see the child, the leaf node color has been changed. Root color also you can change, or root color के लिए हम back color change करते हैं. Let's see. So again, I'm moving here, and I'm changing the root node style. by collapsing all these properties back color i'm changing to light yellow you can select okay i'm clicking on okay and the back color has been changed so this is how you can you know give the formatting for your tree nodes this is a simple tree node what i did simply i got this tree node from the toolbox and i have using uh, the properties i have made the changes over here now let's understand how you can get this particular tree node from the data source so here i have already added one of my data source that is xml file i'll just show you the content of it the advertisement is the root node okay uh, here you have uh, basically xml is what extended markup language and where you create your uh, customized tags uh, so this tag is been created that is advertisements inside this parent tag add uh, four add tags are there inside each add tag you can see image url navigate url alternate text impression and keyword these five tags are there okay let's create uh, your tree view control uh, by using the data source of this particular xml file so let's go back here i am again dragging tree view control okay but this time i will not edit nodes but i will choose data source so i'm clicking here now it is asking me for the new data source since it is my xml file i am clicking on xml file and clicking on okay it is asking me for the file and it is obviously showing me this xml file which is already added in the project i am clicking on okay okay so you all can see guys all data is been displayed advertisement inside advertisement four add uh, parent nodes were there inside each parent node you are having five child nodes now here inside this image url if you want to display its uh, actual value okay instead of image url the actual value which we set for example xml file if you will see 
image URL, you can see in this tab, we have written hibiscus.jpg. Okay, navigation URL, we have written certain path over here. Suppose you want these values over here, then what you can do? Then I'll be making use of the data binding option. So here inside the data section, you can see data binding properties there. So here I'm just dragging my advertisements for data binding setting, add image URL, navigate URL, alternate text, impression, and keyword. So I'm tracking all these values. But at present in image URL, what I want in my text field, in my text field, I don't want its name to be displayed or value to be displayed but I want its inner text to be displayed, okay? So I'm just clicking on inner text, applying it, and okay. But at the same time, I have to give for other, uh, you know, other data. I have to set other data bindings as well. So for advertisements, maybe I want text field as normal text. That is, you can say name. For add also, I want simple name. For image URL, I want inner text. Navigate URL also, I want uh, maybe inner text, alternate inner text. Inner text means what? It will not display that tag. Instead, it will display the value inside that tag. Please remember this. Inner text, I'm applying it, I'm paying, clicking on OK. Now guys, you can see all the values also inside this tree view controls, which values these values are the values which we gave in the XML file. You all can see this is my XML file and inside these all these values are there. So these values can be displayed using the using which value? Inner text value. Okay. For which particular property in the data binding? So uh, guys, you can click on this particular property such as text field as hash inner text. Okay. So using all these options, you all can see. Suppose I want it to be navigated on this particular, uh, you know, uh, this particular navigation URL. It should, after clicking on this particular link, it should be opening that page. Okay, so let's do that too. So I'm clicking on this navigate URL. I'm clicking here. And now in the navigate URL, here in this field, if I'm saying in a text, okay, in the navigate URL, I'm clicking which option? Again, inner text. Now it should actually use that inner text and it should navigate it. Okay, so I'm just pressing Control and F5. Let's see, I'm clicking on this hibiscus. Great, it is opening that page hibiscus. I'm clicking on this lily. Yeah, it is going on to that particular URL as well. Okay, so suppose I want it to be opened in this new window. Okay. So how can I do it? Let's select this and here data bindings again. Okay, data bindings, navigate URL and here you can specify the uh, target. So let me search for the target. So you can see target over here. Here I'm saying new window. Okay. And I'm clicking on, okay. Now it should open on the new window. So you all can see after clicking it, it's opening a new window and showing me the respective URL content. Okay, so that is how you all can select all these options, guys. And uh, this is the way how you can view your, you can use your review control. Okay, and uh, directly control also you can use or else you can make use of some data source. So in this video, we, I have shown you how to make use of the data source XML file. Okay, so I hope you all have understood this. Uh, please like and subscribe our channel for more practicals. On behalf of Team Technologics, I thank you all for attending today's session and wish you all a very happy learning.